Hey guys, welcome to my Let's Play series. Last episode, we dumped everything in that chest. I said I was going to uh, start recording again when we come across, uh, across something interesting. But I just want to do this now because I might not have time to activate the recording if we come across something awesome or something attacks me. So if there's boring parts in this thing, I'll just cut that out and then hopefully we have an awesome episode. At the end of this recording, I want to go to, uh, to that hotel and loot that and then head back home. But that's, uh, that I'm going to do off camera. Hopefully my viewers at least know that I don't cheat off camera and that I do everything by the book. So, I mean, if I cheated, that bridge would have been done by long by now. It takes so long sinking all the way down to the floor and then placing those frames. Where did that chicken go? There's a chicken there. There was also one up here. Imagine if chickens actually went around and laid uh, eggs and put their feathers in these um, birds' nests. Oops, bad shot. That was actually quite a bit of loot. Damn. This is stuck. Was a nice opportunity to get it. Come on, come on, come on. From the previous episode alone, we've uh, got enough skill points now to actually get that uh, cement mixer perk. For a moment, this looked like the wasteland. I want, this is the first planes I've seen. Actually, be conserving my ammo. Let's just see which it's the base is back which way. Just plain right. So if we go down, we should get to this road. Yeah. So we're gonna go into the plains now. Just gonna kill the zombie quickly and loot that house. I don't mind looting a place if it's this close to the road, but with those gravel paths that lead uh, so far away, it's not worth going all the way. Wow. Look at all that coal. As far as I can see. Usually I only record one episode a day for the following day, but since it's still light out, we can just as well record another one. Stashes underneath here. Yeah? Guys, remember, not all of them have stashes. If you can actually see something below, then uh, go for it. But for example, yeah, it looks like you can see under, but it's just another piece of wood. I have to eat or drink that to get our food up since we haven't found any other food. Blueberry I want to keep, this I want to scrap. Throw that, throw this, don't need it. Scrap that. I want to keep this for now and if it gets redundant we'll throw it away. Not redundant, just uh, too much of an in inventory space. Okay. 
I just oh, wish I could, I should actually make a mini bike. I know it's going to be a crappy quality, but at least then we'll be able to explore way faster. Because now most of the time is being spent running. Whereas when I have a mini bike, uh, that time would be cutting off. Ooh, two birds nests. Sudden spawn in. I like how the distant terrain looks here, like it's uh, the plains, but I hate how it looks there, like it's the uh, wasteland. I always get so scared to approach a biome when I see that, but then it's not the wasteland and I worry for nothing. Because, I mean, before episode 1, all those retries, uh, retries actually made me hate the wasteland. Dying over and over at the end of dogs, on day 1. actually start looking for a rock to break so we can start making arrows I'm gonna have to make another chest soon I think I should make a chest up here and then make some arrows while I'm at it just scrap this to make a little bit more space Grab, grab, I'll make the chest on top of the hill. Come to me. Part of the reason I can one-shot these zombies is because I'm using iron arrowheads. So as soon as I break apart a rock to make arrows, they're going to be a little bit weaker. Let's make one here. Okay, so we need wood. Um, let's see if we can find wood from this tree. I was hoping for a little bush or something and I can whack. Ooh, food. Even the cat food is something. Okay. I'm going to break down this one tree so I can make a lot of arrowheads, or arrows. At least it's nice and powerful. Okay, let's see, can I make space for the stone, and also space for the fragments. I think I'm going to break all three layers so I can make quite a bunch of uh, arrows. Man, I love the 600x. Ooh, it's dropping... What's that? Lump of coal. Just thought it can't be dropping iron already. Uh, arrows. What am I missing? Stone. Okay, but I don't have space on me now, so let's just drop that chest so we can make some space. Um, just do this quickly. Make a chest, stop that, make the arrows, switch these and go. And dump everything once again. I'm going to keep the wood on me for now for if we need to make another chest. Uh, iron arrow, normal arrows. We should actually use all the iron arrows first so we know we have enough space for everything else. Take a drink. 
and be on our way. Since you can now combine items, they actually encourage you to mine more. Because you don't scrap the items you used to scrap anymore since you can combine them to make better items. For example, gun parts. Usually I just scrapped crappy parts, but now you can combine the crappy parts to make even better parts. Come on, give me something good. I thought that was a bear. They made these bunnies so damn cute, I don't want to kill them. I'm a big softie. Okay, now, which way to go? Let's just see on the map. I think we continue straight. I want to uh, link up with that road close to the base. I really do think there's way too many tires on the road. I mean, you can sell all these tires for so much. Just hope no one sneaks up on us. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Still one hit left. Okay. Ooh, even a, a pig up there for us. Bad shot. No, not bad shot. Terrible shot. actually make ourselves a new bow. This one's getting way too damaged. I actually love this part, the exploring part. Just sucks when you don't find anything new. Let's see what's that way. No, wrong key. You see, I think it's going to link up with that road. Hopefully, there's something in between. Just imagine, we take this road, but just, just up there, there's a town. I hate it when that happens. This game is all about choices. We're almost out of these iron arrows. Let's make some space. Scrap this, drop that, scrap this, uh, eat this, scrap, come on, come on, come on, scrap this one, uh, we'll keep that for now. Ter uh, these tires are way too terrible to sell, so I'm going to also scrap this one, and let's go.
Let's see. It's. I think the bow is too damaged to take it in one shot. But you never know until you try. Oh come on! Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. Nope. Just in the trying, I'm already wasted three arrows. Awesome, it's powerful enough, even as damaged as it is. I actually want to make a new bow quickly. Okay, cool. Now we keep going and we should get to the old base or to our base. When we get there I just want to put some um, cement mix on and then I'm going to go back during the night and loot that other hotel. I think it's using, uh, it's using the normal arrows. Just shows two shots for normal arrows, one shot for the iron arrow. That's why I looked so overpowered, this was because I was using a stronger brand. I'm only going to keep the best of the best. I actually hope I get to get uh, get to go to our base first, because then I can grab a wrench and dismantle all the cars at the other hotel. Let's see, drop this, um, scrap this. I don't want to make a chest for anything. And there's so much to explore in this game. That's why I don't know, uh, know why people hate this. Uh, give this game so much hate. I love this game. I just want to find some um, mines or something, some caves. So I haven't found that yet in the game. But for that, I need to stay away from the roads and run uh, straight across the biomes. Yeah, I think we're close to the other biome. Let's just hope we get to the base before nightfall. Or rather, I want to get to the base way before nightfall so that I can get to the other hotel before nightfall. Is that? No, it's a chicken. Uh, I thought it was a chicken. But it's moving way too up and down to be a chicken. Grab this. There's so much stone in the area. Sixty-eight skill points. Let's just quickly get the cement mixer so we don't forget. Next is what? I don't need to worry about that anymore. Cool. I'm gonna get a few barter, and I also need to check on my fast eddy and quality Joe.
Uh, let's just forget about her. I don't want to waste arrows. And besides, she's going the, uh, another direction, so what's the point? Scrap that. Um, we can make that from bones. Iron shovel. Smelt that down. Grab that. It would actually be ideal for me if I didn't need to make another chest before I get to the base. I don't want to have too many of these um, loot chests lying around. Well, so let's just quickly make some bone shivs to get our weapon skill up a little more as well. It's been a while since we've come across any wandering hordes. I wonder where they all are. This seed actually has a surprising amount of water on it. I thought there was going to be way less water. But I'm not complaining because since there's so much water, we can now afford to make a water base. I still say this game is way better in multiplayer mode. When you're playing with others, that's the best kind of experience in this game. Single player gets a little bit boring because you get lonely. Finally! Now we can actually dismantle our books. Our, our pistols. Damn, I've been waiting a long time for that book. Actually, to be fair, I've only been waiting 5 days, 16 hours and 20 minutes. Let's just see where we are on the map. We're actually very close to where we want to be. I'm actually hoping for a Wandering Ward, just to have some zombie killing fun. I wonder how far off Alpha 16 is, because I mean, Mad Mall's already making videos on Alpha 16, so it shouldn't be that far off. It actually seems like they're doing uh, Alpha 16 a lot faster than Alpha 15, which is actually a little bit surprising. How close are we to the trader? It's on the other side. I wonder if we shouldn't just go quickly sell a few things and make space like that. Because I mean, we do have quite a few tires that we can sell, and an uh, iron shovel. And besides, maybe I want to see if his loot respawns. Because apparently you get new options every few hours. And there's a book that Mathkey got from the guy that I haven't seen in game yet, so I'm quite curious about that. Lucky! Okay, so the trader is straight ahead of us, and the base is back that way. Keep my eyes open for more bird's nests. I also need to focus, uh, focus on making more iron arrowheads, or perhaps steel for the ward. But I mean, uh, the 
iron arrow heads with a full quality bow do, uh, do quite a bit of damage. I should actually see if I can make a crossbow, but I doubt I have that schematic. Let's just see. Did I pass it now? No, it's that way. Just quickly going to sell this and see how much we get for it. Two iron arrowheads left, and then we can finally make some lo uh, more space. Because I mean, the only thing keeping us up now is this one arrow. I wonder if we eat this for the health, put that there, and then grab that. Wait, now I think that's the treasure, isn't it? Now we're going the wrong way. If we're supposed to go this way. Hopefully we find a cave or something soon. I know in the wasteland, I, th I think it's this uh, seed. We've, uh, we came across that one, um, I think it's the previous series. We came across a cave or mine system in the wasteland area. Should just actually go watch episode 1 again and see if we found it in this series or not. If we found it in this series, I'm going to get a pistol or something with a lot of ammo and go mine there. During the light, I also want to see if I can make a mini bike or not. Okay, one more shot, then we need to remember to swap out the arrows. Otherwise, I won't be able to kill anything. I have meat on me so I can try killing this pig quickly. That was a terrible shot. Damn. Oh, that sucked. Got lifted into the damn bobbed wire. Well, hi there, Bob. I uh, just quickly want to sell these tires. I have purple tires for the mini bike at the base, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, iron shovel will sell. Sell, sell. We have a mining helmet now, so we can sell that. We have a better quality at the base. Um, sell the old cash. Forgot you can select all. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Is that all for now? I don't want to... Oh, oh, we just said we doesn't need more of this. Okay. So let's see what he has for us. He has a crossbow. But our quality... No, actually it's a better quality than we have at the moment. And we can't make one. So let's just keep this in mind and then see what else he has. There's also one down below, but that's orange. Um... We have steel, we have mechanical parts, and everything else I sold him. He doesn't actually have that uh, much of a selection here. I think I can make my own hunting knife, but that's going to be this color. So I can buy this, and 1,400 left, and the crossbow. I don't know how long it's going to be before we get that schematic, so it's better to buy it now than wait. Yeah, and I think that's all. Secret stash. Mm, nothing we want. We have a mining helmet. The color doesn't matter. Uh, we are going to make a cement mixer. And it's a little expensive to buy one. And that's all. Okay, so yeah. Come back now. So we have to take all that back. Damn. Let's just set the marker for the base. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop everything off at the base 
and then during the night I'm going to go to this hotel, uh, loot the whole thing, and then try and get as many of this stuff out of the loot. Wait, where's the other chest? There. Trying to, uh, to get as much stuff out of those chests as I can. If you guys like this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. If you have any comments for me about the episode, please comment that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe for more 7 Days to Life content. See you guys next time.